Hi there, Cancers. The purpose of this reading is to, you know, give you a little bit of information for what's coming in the last two weeks of December. It's the holiday season. People do get together with their families and it can be a little bit of a difficult time for some people. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that, what's coming in for you guys. And then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, lessons that we can extract that will help us transition easily will facilitate the process but um, I do feel like you have a lot of things to look forward to in the um, 2018 time frame okay so let's go into your reading here first of all the next two weeks I do see new beginnings when it comes to your financial situation. This is you getting to the nitty gritty details, getting your hands dirty, starting a budgeting system, starting to itemize how much money is leaving your hands, how much money is coming in, how much money is, is coming out, uh, how much expenditures that you need to you know, take care of, how much money you need to set aside for these necessary expenditures and how much money you uh, realistically have by the end of the, the, the day or the end of the month or the end of the week to spend on frivolous activities okay so I feel like you're getting uh, really sitting down and trying to work out these financial matters and I also feel that in the process of doing it it's it's a very empowering process it can feel very daunting and scary when we have to like look into our finances or have to sort them out but I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to feel a lot better knowing exactly how much control you have over your finances. I feel like some of you are, you know, kind of like making early New Year's resolution and telling yourself, I'm not going to be so extravagant anymore. I'm not going to spend my money like I did in the past. I do see a lot of money spent on whining and dining, going out, having fun, living like a bachelor or a bachelorette. I also see a lot of luxury items and this is kind of like to uh, to position yourself so that other people see you as someone who is um, you're like in a, you're in a different you know caliber so I feel a lot of it is like just uh, for show and then I also feel as well extravagant extravagant like watches jewelry cars and things that are nice but are, are definitely luxury items and so you're kind of sitting down and some of you are thinking about selling these things and some of you are thinking about like you know putting it up for auction putting items up for bid so that you don't have so you, that you're not bogged down with so much baggage so you're not bogged down with so much stuff so that you can focus on the things that really matter and you can focus more on things that um, are essential so I feel like you know downsizing rethinking and putting items up for bid and you know selling items not having these material things control your life and feeling like you need to take control of your life and your financial life in particular um, I'm also feeling as well for many of you it's almost like um, feeling like health issues from the past is it's uh, catching up with us and we need to make a change when it comes to our diet so this is you know like uh, exercising more weightlifting going hiking uh, doing a little bit more cardio and then uh, reducing the amount of sugar in your diet like uh, quitting drinking quitting going out um, quitting you know like just excessive uh, eating and drinking okay um, which is all really really good. I feel like some of you are recently or have recently recovered from a cold and you're trying to get your body back on track. You're trying to strengthen your body. So I feel like this transition is going to happen um, towards like the I want to say the 16th and the 26th of the month okay so you're going to be in a uh, top form when it comes to your health for those who are recovering from an illness, surgery and, and etc. Um, I also feel in relationships as well. I have an earth sign person coming into the picture. So this is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. And I feel like there might have been some problems with this person. And it, it, I feel like it's a relationship partner where they have not been 100% um, emotionally supportive. And I feel like the relationship with them was very much about keeping scores like 
who's contributing what financially to the relationship. And I feel like you are dealing with somebody that might be a little bit more on the self-serving side. And they, you might have given a lot in the relationship and they're kind of stingy with their love, with their affection, with their money, with their time. And I'm sensing that you're at a point where you're becoming a little bit resentful, like, oh, this is not working. This person is not generous enough. I should have seen it coming. Why did I not, you know, see it sooner? So your eyes are being, it's like your eyes are open. You're being, um, you're, you're enlightened to some aspect of this person that you realize you do not like. And so I feel many of you will be separating, okay, will be separating. And uh, you're separating not because there's another person in the picture that you're going to transition seamlessly, you know, with. But I feel like you're separating because at this point, you want relationships that matter. You want things and people in your life that add value to your life. And so I feel like some relationships here, especially if you're dealing with a, uh, an earth sign, sun, moon, or rising, that's also moving forward, okay? As well, I do see an Aquarius person, um, an Aquarius person, sun, moon, or rising as well. The relationship from that is done and over with. There isn't a going back together. For many of you, this could be a colleague, a friend, um, a love relationship. It's somebody that you once had really good times with, I feel like. They say like, you know, pining for the past, longing for that good times, but I feel that you're, they're moving away. They're gradually shifting away from you as well. So they're moving away. There might have been a big move on their end, but either way, they're leaving the picture. So there isn't any type of like coming back together associated with that, okay? So to round out this year, this year is a lot about, you know, ending things and I feel like some of these endings need it to really happen in 2016 and I feel like the energy was blurred and dragged into 2017 so it created a lot of confusion it created a lot of scattered energy from your end uh, cancers where you were kind of like giving bits and pieces of yourself to all kinds of people being pulled in different directions and not really, you know, being focused and directed to move your life forward, okay? And I do feel, you know, you, you are a very sentimental uh, sign. You do have strong attachments to people. And a lot of the times, too, I feel like people have a hard time really understanding where they stand with you. And so you have to also think about it as if, if I can't give it my all, I'd rather not give it at all so that you're a little bit more purposeful about who you give your energy to and that it doesn't create confusion within you. If you're, you know, um, blocking out three hours of your time to talk to one person, to catch up with one person, that's what you have to do. So then the other person understands where they stand with you. So instead of doing that, I feel like you're just like, oh, I have three hours blocked off. I'm going to cram in as many people as possible. So then it becomes a group thing. And then the other person is all confused. Like, where exactly do I stand with you? You know, so really carving the time out to be one on one, to have alone time with people you care about, because that means a lot to, to them. And that can also allow you to reach out to them and have more meaningful, substantial conversations, okay? So I feel uh, not everyone operates that way, but I feel that moving forward, this is a better way for you to use your energy so that you're not pulled in different directions, so that people around you are not confused as to where they stand, how important they are, and things like that, your intentions for them. It becomes very confusing when everything becomes like a group thing, okay? Um, I'm also feeling as well, you know, being a lot more, um, I want to say like conscientious about blocking people out, you know, not letting their opinions, um, affect what you do, where you stand. So for example, if you like this one thing and you feel like I'm just going to do it because it's the greatest thing ever. And then somebody tells you, oh, don't do that. 
and they're just like nobody. They're they're not anybody even important. Um, and then you find yourself like doing it, and then not you know talking about it. Own up to the things that you believe in. Okay, people can make suggestions, and especially if the suggestions are unwarranted or unsolicited, um, they're they're not trying to get in the way. People just have a habit of you know shooting off at the hips. Uh, interjecting and wanting to vent, wanting to let their opinions be known. But I feel like it shouldn't detract you. Their opinions should not detract you from what you want to do. And so you don't have to do it, you know, under the radar. You can just own up to it. I'm going to do it anyways because I disagree with you. And, and you know, just move on with your life. So um, I feel like the lessons here is, you know, being a little bit more directed, being a little bit more above the radar, doing things that doing things and not having to walk around on eggshells when you're encountering opposition or you're encountering people that you feel, oh, they wouldn't like it if I did that or they wouldn't like it if they found out. We have to live our life in a more authentic way. And I feel like you might be in the uh, position where you're trying to please everybody and that is not going to serve you well long term, okay? As well, um, 2018 is a lot about managing your finances. I feel like there is new beginnings here, which means that you're at a point where you're making good money and you need to monitor what's leaving your hands. You need to monitor. I see some of you with new big ticket items that just came into the picture. And so you're going to need to, you know, um, manage it well. Some of you, real estate, property, as well for some of you, like new children being added into the household. And so you're going to have to, you know, save up for a rainy day, save up in case there are repairs, save up for college tuition, whatever it is, there's some additional expenditures. And it's, it's like your financial life can't be as extravagant as it was before. So the majority of 2018 is, you know, partnerships, how learning how to balance out give and take and knowing how to build up things of value that can be brought into the future. <coughs> Excuse me, via investment in children or via investment in property, real estate and things that are tangible. OK, so you're going to have a very, very good uh, 2018. I feel that you're going to be quite pleased with the results. OK, so take care of yourself here, cancers, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.